So reading from files in Java is a common task that involves working with classes from the java.io uh, and java.nio.file packages. Uh, we'll look at several ways to read from files, including using file reader uh, and buffer reader and the files class. So using the file reader and buffer reader. Um, file reader is a convenient class for reading character files. And buffer reader can be used to read text from a character input string. Uh, buffering characters to provide efficient reading of characters, arrays, and lines. So let's take a look at an example. So let's see, file reader uh, example. So we have first we're going to import our packages. So we have Java.io file reader, Java.io uh, buffer reader, and then a Java.io IO extension. So um, in this example, we have uh, a a text file called example.txt. Um, and so we're saving that as a file name, as a string. And then we're going to try with file reader to open a new uh, ob file reader object. So, that, so we have a file that can be read. Uh, and we need a file name to do that. That is a script called string. So it's going to go and look for that. And then we're also going to, uh, with that, oh, excuse me, we're going to create a new buffer reader uh, and using that file reader object. And so from that, we're going to go to each line. So while there is a line, so while the line is not null, meaning that there's something to read, um, it's going to print out each line. If something goes wrong, say it can't uh, access the uh, it can't access the file, it can't find it, doesn't exist, um, it will throw back an exception and it will print out what the, the issue is. Okay. All right. So. Let's take a look, shall we? So, I'll do the example. Um, show that. The Java is so hot. It has no sense of how to get back to you. So uh, using the files class, the files class in the java.nio file package provides several methods to read files, such as read all lines, which reads all lines from a file into a list of string. Or you can do it like this. So let's take a look at uh, that example. So looking at the files read example here. So uh, java.nio.file files. Uh, we're going to input that. Pass the IO exception again in case anything goes wrong, and we're going to use this. Okay. And, um, so we have, uh, again, the example text. That is the file name. Uh, and we're just using file name as, as the uh, variable for this as common, common name. Um, so we're going to try, and we're going to try to um, use the files package read all lines method and to do that it needs a path so it can get to it and the path is going to pass is going to have um, it's going to use a get to essentially get the path for that file that we gave it um, so that it can read the lines okay and that's going to store all of those as um, a list object a list object of strings okay and then we're using that uh that we were for you that for each you yeah, but uh, we're going to take each line, which is going to be a string, because they're all about the string, uh, from the lines, which is the name of this list of string objects. Uh, and we're going to print each line, line by line. Okay. Line by line. Each line. Okay. Um, and then if something goes wrong, like we don't find a path, the pass file is wrong, um, um, it doesn't save anything in the strings. Maybe it's a null file. A lot of things could go wrong. Um, but it's going to throw the exception. Okay. So, this is reads files example. So, uh, 
Kata, J dot. Bows, read, Oracle. Dot Giada. Java. So it went in to the file, got its path, gave it to it, it read it, it took each line, put it in the list, next 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 line, put it in the list. Oh, there's no more. Ooh. Okay. For every line that's in this group of lines, I'm going to print this one out. And now this one, and now this one, and now this one, and now this one. Cool. All right. What about that scanner class? Using the scanner class. Well, the scanner class can also be used to read files, uh, which provides methods to parse primitive types and strings using regular expressions. Um, so let's take a look at the scanner. Scanner. So in this case, we just need file again so that we can you know, make it into a file. Um, and then we're going to use the IO specific file, file not file extension. And of course, the scanner class, so we can you know, use scanner. So once again, we have that example.txt uh, as, as the statement of variable file name. Uh, upstream. And we will try to create a scanner. Okay. Uh, so, well, and then inside this parentheses, if we're trying to use like initialization or something, we're using try to try. Okay, so um, this is what we're trying, so this is going to be not the so yeah, so we are creating a new scanner object. We're just gonna call it scanner, you call it whatever you want. Um, well, this scanner, of course, there is one. But anyway, uh, we're gonna call it the object. Um, so it's a variable scanner. Uh, it's gonna create a, it's gonna scan the file. Okay. And so while the scanner has the next line, so while there's something afterwards, um, we're going to tell the scanner to get the next line and print it out. Get the next line, print it out. And it's gonna keep doing that while it has the next line. When it doesn't, it sees that. There's a null at the end there. It's going to be like, oh, I'm done. And it'll get out of it. Okay. Uh, otherwise, uh, or not otherwise, but at any point in time, the file is not found. So at the beginning, file not found. If there's an exception, it'll print out uh, the space in regards to that. Okay. And that's it. It's just simple. Simple reading file. Reading example. Okay. okay. Um, so let's take a look at scanner read example. So let's compile it. All right, so in summary, we have a file reader and buffer reader, and use these as efficient for reading characters and lines from a file. We use the files class, uh, which provides methods to read all lines at once, which is convenient and concise. Just get them out, put them in a list, go through this, what you need. Uh, or you can just use the scanner class. Um, a lot of people prefer to use a scanner, or they prefer to use file reader and buffer reader. Not really sure why. Um, we're just being honest because I know if I need to read all the lines, I should read all the lines in the file. Um, of course, using the scanner, um, some people are more custom than I am. But anyway, using the scanner class is useful for parsing and reading files with more complex requirements, so uh, such as a, a tokenizing input. So if you were very specific about uh, the type that you want to be able to pull from that, uh, maybe everything in here is just long or uh, double, and you want to be very really concise about what you're pulling in. Uh, and not just strings, or taking the strings and then um, tossing them to a different data type or parsing them. Um, much easier to use a scanner in that case. But each method has its own advantages depending on the specific needs of your application. For large files, buffer reader is typically more efficient, uh, while the files class offers simplicity and ease for use for smaller files. The scanner class is versatile and can be used for reading and parsing both small and large files. Bon appetit.